G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. I hope you're ready for another cocktail. Special day, so many drinks have their days. I'm never really sure who declares them, but any excuse. And when I found out the 30th of June was Mai Tai Day, hell yes, making Mai Tais. Now, the fun thing about Mai Tais is there's, there's sort of a base formula, but people riff on it endlessly. They're, they're really, the basic versions of a Mai Tai is rum, usually at least two different rums, uh, uh, orange curacao or triple sec, uh, lime juice, uh, orgia as the sweetener, and you can play around the edges of that. And what I thought I might do something a little bit special, um, I'm going to use almost exclusively Australian ingredients for this Mai Tai, Australian rums, etc. And I thought, well, what Australian name can I give it? Because if we're down under, everything's reversed. So instead of a Mai Tai, we could call it a Tai Mai. And then my dad joke brain just couldn't be stopped and went straight to Tai Mai Kangaroo Down Sport. So I went there. So for Mai Tai Day, I'm doing an Aussie Tai Mai Kangaroo Down Sport. Let's go. So I am going to mix the rums with this, starting with some Beanley white rum. Uh, this is going to be the base rum. It's a very nice uh, light rum, like most white rums are. I'm going to do an ounce and a half or 45 mils of white rum. To give it a bit of backbone and colour, I'm going to put a pot strength overproof rum. And when I say overproof, I mean 75.9% alcohol over 151 proof. Uh, Inner Circle actually comes from the same distillery, the Beanley Distillery in Queensland. This is a five-year-old pot still rum. It's got all those funky rum notes in there, but it's pretty beastly. So I'm just going half an ounce, 15 mils, of the overproof rum. Orange curacao or triple sec is usually in a Mai Tai as well. And I said, with the Thai Mai Kangaroo down sport, as Aussie as possible, this is a local orange curacao from Marionette. Of course, you can use whatever you want if you're making your own Mai Tai. But just, uh, again, half an ounce, 15 mils of the orange curacao going in. This is admittedly a non-Aussie ingredient. Your classic falernum, Velvet falernum, the original falernum from Barbados. Uh, this is a really nice, it's a rum-based liqueur, very low alcohol, like 11% alcohol. It's got lime, uh, uh, island spices in it. So to give it that real island vibe, I'm gonna add some falernum. Again, just half an ounce, 15 mils of falernum. For the sweetener, I'm going to use Borgia, which is what is most commonly used when you're making a Mai Tai. Honestly, if you don't have Borgia, which is an almond-based sugar syrup, just use regular sugar syrup. Uh, but Borgia is really good in a Mai Tai, so that's what I'm going with. I'm going to go three quarters of an ounce of Borgia. The final touch is some lime juice. I squeezed some earlier. You'll get different recommendations on how much lime juice, and you should adjust it for how tart you like the drink. I actually like a little bit less than a lot of people. The recommendations are usually between half an ounce and an ounce of lime juice going in. I'm just going to do half an ounce, 15 mils. You can scale that up a bit if you like the lime juice a bit more. But for me, 15 mils, half an ounce of lime juice. This is a shaking cocktail, so we fill our shaker glass with ice, put it together, bang it in hard, give that a solid shake for five or 10 seconds. We strain this, I'm using a rocks glass, you might have a tiki style glass you like to put it in. Uh, again, because the glass is full of ice, it doesn't matter if there's any shards from the shaking, so I'm just doing a straight strain in there. Hell, could have done a dirty dump with the ice in here or anything. But uh, my I oh, I think I need a garnish. Just a nice sprig of mint. Slap it around, get the flavors going. Mm. And uh, we have a top. Oh, yeah, no, no, I did decide it was a tie my kangaroo down sport, didn't I? I thought I was tongue tied again, but I actually meant to say that, and I forgot I meant to say it. Oh my god, what a night I'm having. Anyway, cheers! It's time for my tie. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mint on the nose. Uh, rum on the palate, those nice fruit elements as well. No wonder Mai Tais have been popular for the best part of a century. It's a comparatively simple drink to make. A couple of rums, lime juice, orange curacao, uh, orgia, anything else you want to add around the edges. Uh, it's great. What can I say? Everyone knows Mai Tais are great. Um, and uh, yeah, you 
there's such a palette to play with when you say rum you know there are thousands of rums you could choose from and yeah I chose local so it could be a, a Thai my kangaroo down sport but uh, yeah you can use the big names um, do something with a bit of character uh, there's so much room to play with so I'm gonna finish my my tie it's not your tie it's my tie uh, I did just steal that line <laughs> Somebody was with me, but I'm gonna finish it up uh, because uh, I've, I've been tasting a few drinks so far tonight Now I'm gonna taste this one uh, look honestly uh, if you're enjoying a Mai Tai on Mai Tai day or any day good on you uh, And look, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back if you're not already subscribed to the channel It'd be great if you subscribed hit the notification bell like comment tell your friends uh, Take out a mortgage on your house and send me the money. Well, I don't know People on online are always begging. I might as well go the whole way. So, I'm gonna finish my Mai Tai. I'm going. I clearly should have left a few minutes ago, but I'm going now. I hope you stay well. Look after yourself. Look after people around you. Until I see you again. Cheers.